Today on Papa's Projects, we're talking about this Electrolux full-size washing machine that we purchased for $105 and fixed it ourselves within a half hour. And this new heat pump dryer, which uses a lot less electricity, uses about 2,000 to 2,800 watts versus around six to 7,000 watts for a regular dryer. So this thing we were able to pick up yesterday, it was on clearance for $299 out the door with tax and everything. We brought it home with us and we were able to wire this up to this MPP solar off-grid inverter where we can have three different phases. We can have single phase, 120 volts. We can have dual phase, 100, I'm sorry, 208 or 240 volts. And we can have three phase for starting up large motors in that. So right now we are using just solar power to run this heat pump dryer. Now the nice thing about this heat pump is, is if you look on the back here, there's no dryer vent. This is ventless. So what this does is right here, you're sucking in the air from the surrounding area and this is blowing out the air which right now it's just a little bit warmer than usual so i have this out in my garage where i have an 18,000 btu air conditioner and a 12,000 btu air conditioner well mini splits that i run in the summertime so we're just starting to do this to where we can save money by doing our laundry out here in the garage and right now you can see that the clothes are drying in there and we have this now what happens is is right here this is a drawer that pull it out it fills up with moisture and then you pull that out when the load is done and the machine's off and you empty that because your moisture will go there instead of going out the vent to your outside. Now, what I'll probably do is right here, this is pulling that moisture up into there so I can take this off right here, put an extension tube on this and run this over into the sink so that I don't have to take and empty that every couple of washes or every couple of cycles of drying. Now this dryer is basically a full functioning heat pump dryer. So right now, if we look, this thing is using 780 watts on one leg and 890 some watts on the other one. So it's using less than 2000 watts right now total to run off of this. And when you, on this inverter, you're splitting your watts and your current off of each leg. So you have one leg is uh, 120 volts and the other leg is 120 volts. So it splits, evenly splits or tries to the um, amount of current and watts that you're gonna use. So right now it's a cloudy day and this is a 48 volt battery bank system and we're at 44 volts right now. Um, this is actually pulling 25 amps to run that heat pump right now. And oops, let me go back here and we are producing nine amps 
and charging our batteries at the same time. So, right now, this is in the middle of a cycle where it just stopped and it reverses the rotation on your dryer so that your clothes didn't get all twisted together. So every couple of minutes, it'll stop turning and it'll turn the other direction. And as it does that, it will temporarily for a few seconds um, stop um, the heat pump or cycle it down. It's still running it, but not with very many watts. So as you can see, we're able to run that. And it's a cloudy day today. So we're able to put out almost 2,000 watts on that, even with it being cloudy out right now. Now it's supposed to get sunny in about a half hour. So at that time, we can we could fire up two of these things. But this is a state inverter heat pump technology that uh, is used on these mini splits. So right now in our garage, we run that freezer 24 hours a day, that refrigerator 24 hours a day, that freezer 24 hours a day. We can run this light right here. And then I don't have it on right now, but we can run during the day, we run all these lights. They don't use very many watts at all. They're like, I think this thing's like 20 watts for this light right here um this is probably about 12 watts and then we just installed some new lights on our ceiling fans under our pergolas that only use eight and a half watts and 11 and a half watts and it really lights it up extremely bright out there we can run that thing all night long and we're running less than 30 watts to extremely light up our backyard and doesn't do hardly anything on that battery bank. But as you can see, getting ready to throw a load of laundry in there and we're utilizing our solar. Now in the summertime, right now it's the winter time in January and uh, you don't get that much sun or the sun is actually set lower than rather above, right above you in the wintertime here in Arizona. Um, but in the summertime, when it's 115 degrees outside, we'll be able to do our laundry out here. And like I said, this is a heat pump, so it exchanges the air. And we will be heating up our house and by doing our laundry out here, we'll be able to probably reduce our electric bill by another 30%. And last year, we were already down to an average of $108 a month for basically 3,000 square foot house, air conditioning and heating that, along with a variable speed pool pump and running a 120 volt heat pump pool heater to be able to get into our pool in March, when usually you'd have to wait till the end of May or early June to get the water warm enough just using a solar cover. So I'm extremely happy with this. Like I said, this thing is normally anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars brand new. And this was actually a open box scratch and dent. There's actually a little scratch right there going in the garage so so we paid three hundred dollars out the door and saved over a thousand dollars to be able to have an electrolux washer and dryer now together for both of these and they're they're brand new <laughs> this bottom one is a uh 2021 model and i believe this is a 2020 model up here now 2021 and we paid less than $400 for the both of them. This one, we brought it home and fixed it within a half hour. So if you're a DIY guy, you can find some deals like this where 
This was a simple fix. They just didn't want to send it back to the manufacturer from Lowe's. So they just put it on the floor basically for parts. But the door was, this door was pushed in on this cabinet. So I had to take the door off, take this panel off, put it on the ground. And I had to pound it out down here and over here, put the door back on. And within a half hour, I had a working $12 to $1,400 brand new electric dryer with, with tax $1,500 out the door. So we paid $102 out the door with that by putting that and getting an extra 5% on our Lowe's card. <laughs> so not many people have Electrolux washer and dryer in their garage, but we were able to do it for $400. That's called a Papa's deal. So I find many Papa deals and I share those with you on here. Everything I did solar is basically Papa deals. I find the best price I can and share that along with you. So if you like, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful and very blessed day. And we'll see you soon on Papa's Projects.